But uh, I, I'm very flattered to get the award, and I'm happy about that. But I'm happy sad tonight because my friend is gone, and um, he will be really missed by the entire world. And I'm sure that most of the people in the world are feeling what I'm feeling right now as far as that goes. But I do have something that's going to make me happy. Getting this award is a good thing. Oh, of course it's troubling to me, you know, uh, because uh, for a man who is as, in as good a physical shape as he was, and as energetic as he was, and to be a young man of 50 years, I mean, age is so relative, you know, there are some people when I say a young man of 50 years, they say, oh, a young man, but, but he was a young man. And not only was he young chronologically, but he was young inside, you know? And so when I get the news that he's had a heart attack, I mean, that's just unbelievable. It's Initially, I, I didn't know what to feel. It, it felt like, I mean, I didn't know him really, really well, but it felt like a close personal friend had passed. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you get choked up a little bit, like, wow, really? Like, I, okay, Mike was 50. So I, so I understand Mike is a person and people die, but I didn't, I felt, I really, and honestly didn't feel like Mike would die in my lifetime. I don't know if that sounds weird, but like, that's how I felt. I, I, I didn't think I would live to see Michael Jackson die. Like that, like even now, I don't even feel real. It doesn't feel real. Just uh, the way that he viewed music, uh, I, I view music kind of in shapes and colors, and he and he viewed it the exact same way. And uh, that was actually one of the first things we talked about when we met. You know, the way that he viewed music and the way you know certain certain sounds have certain shapes and colors. And and I just thought it was crazy because I look at music the same way. So it was cool that we that we vibed on that, that we had that, that we shared that bond anyway. I mean, you know, I was in a meeting, like I was saying earlier, with Timberland and the company. Uh, we was talking about uh, some stuff. And, uh, I mean, what I'm going to always remember about Michael Jackson is he was one of the greatest of all times. And, uh, and I'm, got, I, I'm glad that I got a chance to be in the studio with him. He's an incredible dude, definitely. He's been very influential, you know, as, a, as an artist, entertainer himself, you know, he's hands down a, the king of pop. You know, when I heard about the news, I was actually on a plane on my way here to L.A. And it's just, you know, I, I feel like the world is at a sad state of mind right now. It's, it's still kind of surreal that the fact that he's, he's gone. I'm old school. I still remember Can We Dance. You know what I mean? I actually got to work with him. I sang um, backgrounds on one of the songs. It's called Keep the Faith. And um, I just remembered him just having such a great spirit. He was the nicest guy to work with. And, and um, I'm going to remember his music forever. His music is going to live forever. So.